Where's that?
first we're just warming up on it we played it kind of the way it's most people play it and I just thought well what can we do to it differently and a lot of the times when for me if I don't have a good I what I call a good idea I'll just try a bad idea you know and a lot of times that bad idea will point you to something better you know and so I say hey let's what does it sound like really fast and we did it and eh kind of didn't work, but all of a sudden, we, we changed to this Tower of Power type of groove, and then all of a sudden, that tempo that, that we didn't think worked with the Tower of Power groove, we went back up to that same tempo, and so that's why it's so good to try bad ideas, because there might be something about that bad idea that's good, you know, and so if you don't try, you may lose all of it, so, you know, we just, but again, we worked together and we came up with something. And in the end, we had our own version of a classic Herbie Hancock song, Watermelon Man. Well, we started playing the groove. Uh, James started playing the groove just like the record. Um, and we tried that, and after a couple of times, it was Victor's idea, what if we played this really fast? Uh, I almost suggested we did it, do it as like a 12-8, kind of like ding, 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 ding. But at that point, after the um, da, 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 what is it? or on his thumb da, 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 da. that's that was really exciting and took shape really fast um, and then James was kind of steering the uh, was driving the train on that one and the um, his keyboard solo on that is insane I've never seen anybody use their elbow with such accuracy before <laughs> but it was really fun. Uh, and the take that ended up, it was just, it wasn't even an array, it was just an idea of like how we're going to do it. And then we talked about it for a couple minutes afterwards, like, no, it's cool, like warts and all, you know, it had great energy, which I think uh, somebody made the point, people love to watch that, you know, it's good, I think it's good to see things that don't have such a sheen and that aren't like overproduced and these kind of get behind the scenes um, of what goes into the process. That was the best keyboard player, keyboard solo I've heard on that tune ever. He played some. That's why I mean, when when we were like, should we do it again? I was like, man, can't lose that take of that. That piano solo was off the hook. So I'm glad we kept that take. It was amazing, amazing yeah. solo.